We're going to go over how to set up a file for a multi-material print. This is great when you have both flexible material and rigid material all in the same piece and you need to have those same components print it together. So what we have here is a single file with multiple separated solid bodies. And the reason why we want to have this in the same file is so that the origins are all aligned and that we can make sure that the connection points between the different materials are in the correct place. So in order to make things easier to see, uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the appearance of the separate bodies. So I'm going to make this one here white. And I'm going to go ahead and make these flexible regions a darker gray so that we can see that it's a rubber-like material. And finally, this watch face, I'm going to make it a red so that we have all these bodies clearly identified. Now, the last thing to do is to simply export it as a step file. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the name. And then when I select step file, AP203 works great. And then we're all good to go. So all you need to do is upload the step file to the platform. And if you select rubber-like material for quoting, you'll see the exact same prices as for multi-material. Uh, and then the last thing to do is to annotate this and send a call out so that we know exactly which material is going to be flexible and which one is going to be rigid. So to do that, all you need to do is either take a screenshot and then annotate the photo, or you can go ahead and, as I will demonstrate, create a drawing out of this assembly. So I'm going to select A4 sized paper, I'm going to drag in this isometric view, make sure that we can see the colors and the bodies, uh, and then just increase the scale so it's larger. And then I'm just going to add some annotations. I'm going to go ahead and do a call out by pointing at this region here, and let's make this the flexible part. So I'm going to type in rubber-like. And for rubber-like material, you want to make sure that you enter a shore value. So for this one, I'm going to do shore 60. Uh, and now I'm going to go to this body right here. And let's say we want to make this one a little bit stiffer. So let's enter shore 95A. Um, last thing to call out is this red. This is going to be my rigid part, so I'm going to type in Vera White, which is the standard rigid material on these multi-material prints. And then same thing right here in terms of Vera White. And now all you need to do is save this as a PDF. Material. And then you're all set. So what you do is you upload both of these files that we saved, the PDF with the callouts and the previous step file, which had all the individual bodies in it that are separated. Upload those two to our platform, and then you'll be ready to have a quote within minutes. Uh, let us know if you have any questions.